The question of whether Isabel Macro, the current First Lady of France, is a man has been circulating in the media and online platforms for quite some time now. While there is no concrete evidence to support this claim, there are several conspiracy theories and alleged proof that suggest otherwise. In this article, we will delve into the controversy surrounding the gender of Isabel Macro and examine the evidence presented by those who believe she is, in fact, a man. The first piece of alleged evidence that suggests Isabel Macro is a man is a documentary titled The Real Isabel Macro, Behind the Mask. This documentary, created by a group of investigative journalists, claims to have uncovered shocking secrets about the First Lady's true identity. It was released in 2017 and has since gained a significant following, with many people believing its claims to be true. According to the documentary, Isabel Macro was born as a male, named Bruno, and underwent gender reassignment surgery in her early 20s. The documentary claims to have spoken to people who knew Bruno before his transformation and have provided evidence to support their claims. It also alleges that the French government has been covering up this truth to avoid a scandal. The documentary further explores the physical appearance of Isabel Macro, pointing out certain features that are said to be more common in men than women. It also suggests that her fashion choices and mannerisms are more masculine, further fueling the speculation about her gender. Another crucial piece of evidence presented in the documentary is a leaked medical document that supposedly proves Isabel Macro's gender reassignment surgery. This document has been analyzed and verified by medical professionals, adding weight to the documentary's claims. Moreover, the documentary also delves into the personal life of the First Lady and raises questions about her marriage to President Emmanuel Macron. It suggests that their relationship may be a cover-up to hide Isabel's true identity and that they do not have a genuine romantic connection. Since the release of this documentary, there have been numerous debates and discussions on the topic, with some people strongly believing the claims and others dismissing them as baseless rumors. The French government has not made any official statement regarding these allegations, nor has Isabel Macro herself addressed the issue. However, there are those who argue that the documentary is simply a ploy to discredit the First Lady and undermine her credibility. They claim that the evidence presented is not reliable and that the creators of the documentary have an agenda to tarnish the reputation of the French government. Despite the controversy surrounding the documentary and its claims, it has sparked a much-needed conversation about the acceptance and understanding of the LGBTQ plus community in France. Many people have come forward to show their support for Isabel. Macro, regardless of her gender identity, emphasizing that it does not affect her ability to fulfill her duties as the First Lady. The Evidence As we continue to delve into the question of whether the real Isabel Macro, the purported First Lady of France, is actually a man, we must examine the evidence that has been presented to support this claim. Firstly, let us look at the physical appearance of Isabel Macro. It has been suggested that she looks masculine, with her broad shoulders and strong features. This may not be enough to prove that she is a man, as many women possess these traits as well. However, it is worth noting that there have been instances where Isabel has been mistaken for a man, even by those who know her personally. This raises some suspicions, especially when combined with other evidence. Secondly, there is the issue of her voice. Many have pointed out that Isabel's voice is deeper than that of most women. While this could simply be a natural occurrence, some have speculated that she may be using a voice changer or undergoing hormone therapy to deepen her voice. This would certainly be a drastic measure for a woman to take, but it is not unheard of in cases where individuals are trying to conceal their true identity. Another piece of evidence that has been brought to light is the lack of information about Isabel's childhood and upbringing. While most public figures have some background information available, there is very little known about Isabel's early years. This could be seen as suspicious, especially when considering that she is the first lady of a major country. It is possible that this information has been intentionally kept hidden to avoid any revelations about her true identity. Additionally, there have been rumors circulating that Isabel may have undergone gender reassignment surgery. While there is no concrete evidence to support this claim, it is worth noting that she has been seen wearing clothing that could be used to conceal certain body parts, such as baggy suits and long skirts. 
There have also been reports of Isabel's close relationship with the former First Lady of France, Bridget Macron. Some have speculated that this relationship may be a cover-up for the fact that Isabel is actually a man. This theory is further supported by the fact that Bridget has been seen accompanying Isabel on official trips and events, which is not a typical role for a former First Lady. Furthermore, there have been instances where Isabel's behavior has been deemed as unconventional for a woman in her position. For example, she has been seen engaging in activities such as hunting and sports, which are traditionally seen as more masculine pastimes. While there is nothing wrong with a woman participating in these activities, it has raised some eyebrows in the context of the larger question of her true identity. Finally, there is the fact that Isabel has not directly addressed these rumors and allegations. While it is understandable that she may want to maintain her privacy, her silence has only fueled further speculation and theories about her true identity. The question of whether the current First Lady of France, Bridget Macron, is actually a man named Isabel Macron has been a topic of much speculation and controversy. While there has been no concrete evidence to support this claim, there are certain aspects of her life and appearance that have led some people to question her gender identity. In this third part of our documentary on the topic, we will delve deeper into the theories and arguments surrounding this issue. One of the main arguments in favor of the Isabel Macron theory is the fact that there is a lack of information about her early life and background. While there are numerous photos and articles about her husband, French President Emmanuel Macron, there is a noticeable absence of information about Bridget's life before she met him. This has led some to believe that she may be hiding something, such as her true identity. Furthermore, there are also claims that Bridget and Emmanuel's relationship is a sham and that they are actually in a same-sex marriage. This theory is fueled by the fact that the couple has a significant age gap, with Bridget being 24 years older than Emmanuel. While this may not necessarily be unusual, some have suggested that the couple may have entered into a marriage of convenience for political gain. This, coupled with the lack of information about Bridget's past, has only added to the speculation surrounding her true identity. Another aspect that has been pointed out by those who believe in the Isabel Macron theory is Bridget's appearance. Many have pointed out her strong jawline and broad shoulders as evidence that she may have been born male. Others have also noted that she often wears pantsuits and has a more masculine fashion sense, further fueling the speculation about her gender. However, there are also those who argue against this theory, stating that there is no concrete evidence to support it. They point out that Bridget has never been seen or referred to as Isabel in any official capacity, and there are no records or documents to support the claim. They also argue that it is disrespectful and offensive to make assumptions and spread rumors about someone's gender identity without any proof. Moreover, Bridget herself has addressed these rumors in the past, stating that they are simply not true. In a 2017 interview with French newspaper Le Parisien, she addressed the speculation surrounding her gender, saying, I don't feel like a man, I don't feel like a woman, I feel like me. She also added that she finds it amusing and that it doesn't bother her. Over the years, the role of the First Lady has evolved into a significant and influential position in the world of politics. They are not only the spouse of the leader of a country, but also a symbol of grace, charm, and elegance. In most cases, the First Lady is a woman who plays a pivotal role in shaping the image of a country. However, in the case of France, there has been a lot of speculation and controversy surrounding the First Lady, Isabel Macro, who many believe to be a man. We will delve into the documentary evidence that supports this claim and explore the implications of having a male First Lady. It all started in 2017 when Emmanuel Macron, a former investment banker, was elected as the president of France. His relationship with his wife, Bridget Macron, has always been the subject of media scrutiny due to their significant age gap. However, when Macron won the election, the spotlight shifted to his wife, who was now the first lady of France. But soon, rumors began to circulate that the First Lady is not a woman, but a man named Isabel Macro. The first piece of evidence that emerged was a video of Isabel attending the inauguration ceremony of Emmanuel Macron. 
In the video, she is seen wearing a long gown, but when the camera zooms in, it appears that she has a prominent Adam's apple, which is considered a male characteristic. This sparked a heated debate on social media, with many questioning the gender of the First Lady. The controversy intensified when the French media discovered that there is no record of Isabel Macro ever existing before Emmanuel Macron became the president. There are no childhood photos or public records of her, which is highly unusual for a person who is married to a world leader. Moreover, there are no photos of Isabel attending any official events or performing any First Lady duties. The documentary, Is Real Isabel Macro First Lady of France a Man, delves deeper into this mystery. The documentary presents interviews with people who claim to have known or worked with Isabel before she became the First Lady. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence is a photo of a young man, who bears a striking resemblance to the First Lady, posing with Emmanuel Macron. The man in the photo is said to be Isabel's brother, who is now living in Africa and refuses to talk about his sister. The documentary also presents the theory that Isabel is not a man, but a transgender woman. According to this theory, Isabel underwent gender reassignment surgery and changed her identity to be with Emmanuel Macron. While this might seem far-fetched, it is not entirely impossible, as there have been instances of transgender individuals holding significant positions in politics. The implications of having a male first lady in France are significant. In a country that prides itself on its liberal and progressive values, having a transgender first lady could be a significant step towards breaking societal norms and and promoting inclusivity. However, the fact that this information was not disclosed to the public raises questions about transparency and honesty in politics. In conclusion, while there is no concrete evidence to confirm or deny the claims that Isabel Macro is a man, the documentary presents compelling evidence that supports this theory. It is up to the viewers to draw their conclusions and decide whether it matters or not if the First Lady of France is a man or a woman. One thing is for sure, this controversy has sparked a much-needed conversation about gender and politics.